Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a quick little lesson for you today that I want to uh, show you that will help you fix any kind of faulty hand positioning. Now, uh, where does this come from? Now, it's a little trick, not really a trick, I don't think tricks get you anywhere, but when you actually apply this, it'll put your hand immediately in the proper positioning for any kind of bar chord playing or really lead guitar playing. Uh, now. The, it's not going to work for something like open chords. Uh, so w when you're playing open position chords and popular music and stuff, you're going to have your fingers more pointed towards your your one well, this direction, or like if you're sitting down towards your face. Um, and then also when you're doing bends as well, you, you you know bring the thumb up over helps you get a little bit of leverage. But for pretty much almost anything else, um, you need to have a proper positioning when your fingers are going more straight up. Um, that helps for scales, and it helps for bar chords. So um, I learned this trick from the great classical guitarist David Russell by watching when I attended a master class of his. And he uses this. He's pretty much the greatest classical guitar player in the world, so you got to listen to him. Um, and he has absolutely perfect hands, perfect positioning. And this is how he gets it. Um, and this is how he practices it. So, it's a very simple process, and I took this through with a, a Premium Plus student of mine, which my Premium Plus students on my website, guitarlesson365.com, a uh, little plug there, um, it, it allows them to send me videos of what's going on, so I could actually see his hand, what was going on, I could tell it was out of position, and um, when he was just trying to play a simple scale form, you'd see that as form C if you know your caged scales, which you can also learn on the site. Um, but he was having a lot of issues. When he'd get to the top strings, his hand would be kind of looking like this. Kind of very uncomfortable looking. And then when he'd get down here, he was just all out of place. Just not a chance. All right, so um, I had this. I used this trick that I learned from David Russell to help him do it. Now, what is it? Well, basically, it means you have to have really kind of like a parallel palm underneath the fretboard for this type of playing to get in the really good uh, position. And your thumb just kind of relaxed in the middle of the neck. Um, so, what you're going to do is you're going to play, I'm going to show you here, we're going to play, say, three notes on the high E string. So we'll play five, seven, eight, all right? Just one finger per fret kind of a thing. All right, now what I want you to do is play those three notes again, but this time do a full bar with your index finger. So now that note is actually played with a bar. So we have... Play normal, then with a bar. Maybe try one, two, four on the high E string. And then, or a full chromatic. The idea is to make, you cannot play that bar and those other notes without having the proper amount of space between your hand and the fretboard. And as you go down, Play it one time with, with just playing every third finger. It makes you kind of arc your fingers straight down onto the string too, which allows you to use a lot less finger pressure, and it makes you more accurate as well. So the exercise, the trick to all of this, is basically practice the notes on one string, then play them again with a bar. And that keeps that perfect amount of space, because you can't play that bar if you're too close. And you can't play that bar if you're too far. So it keeps you right there. Now what I had him do is he was trying to play this form here. I just had him hold the bar court, the bar for the entire time as well. So you practice the whole scale like that. Don't worry about the notes ringing out. It actually sounds pretty nice. And then try to play it, keeping his hand in that same position. And then go back to the bar. And then normal. And as he keeps going back to the bar, he starts getting used to that position. You can try this. 
anywhere you want to on the fretboard. Now, it's going to change a little bit. You might have to be angled a little bit when you're down here. But for the most part, you want to keep it pretty, uh, pretty much the same. Um, so it's a it's a great workout if you're if you're playing a, like a, a cool lick or whatever that you're you're practicing. I like to do it, practice it with that bar. Then I know the rest of my fingers are always, uh, you know, in the proper position. So it's a great little trick to a little little technique to practice, and it will help you ensure that you're keeping the proper amount of space here. Um, and it, it'll it, it'll really keep you see how arched my fingers are. They're not like flattened out like this, like reaching for the strings. They're coming straight down onto the strings, which can be a little bit uncomfortable at first if you're not used to it. Um, you know, doing licks like this. See how angled my hand is. You know that works, but it actually even works better. It's easier to play when you're more straight up. It's just you're probably not going to be used to it. So, but because it, it just takes so much, uh, uh, it's like a, a lot less pressure on the fingers to do. All right, so that's what I want you guys to practice here. Just take any scale form you want, hold a bar for the entire time through it, and then practice maybe playing that scale like this. You can go, now that's not gonna work everywhere, but um, say this same scale that we did before. Play one string normal, one string with the bar, one string normal. Obviously, you can go descend with it as well. So practice that little technique and let me know um, how it's working for you guys. It's going to put your hand in a position that you're probably not going to be too used to. You do want to try to keep that wrist straight as you're doing it. So don't bend like this. And obviously, if you bend your wrist like that, once again, it's going to be hard to do the bar. So it kind of makes you have a pretty straight wrist, very arced fingers that come straight down onto the strings with minimal pressure and a good thumb position because once again if your thumbs up here you can't play a bar and if it's way down here it's hard to reach as well so it, it just kind of forces you to play correctly and then that will kind of eliminate some of the questions and it also it, it's, it's everybody's hands are a little bit different it can kind of just uh, it's kind of a a fix for everybody you know I can't say hey put your fingers out well if you have different fingers than I you know different size fingers or um, it's gonna be different but this one little concept will kind of work for everybody all right so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know how it goes in the comments I'll see you later